Hey guys, one clue here. I hope all of you are doing well and having a really great day. In today's video, I want to unbox and explore with you guys the K0 Pro. So let's get started and let's get right into it. So let's take a look on the packaging of the Ice River KS0 Pro. So I grabbed my knife to quickly open this here and we want to take a look on the inside. Let me open the other side as well quickly. Here we go. So let's see what's inside. Okay, so the packaging first of all seems fine. Uh, let's see. So we do see we have quite some styrofoam on top of it and it seems like I, I'm, I'm not really getting this out of there. Um, yeah, that's weird. It's really stiff in there. Um, yeah, I, I probably need to get this out there off camera. Uh, let me grab the power supply first and the cable that we do have. Uh, nothing special, just power supply. So let's take a look on the ice river. Um, okay, let me get rid of the packaging here. And here we go. We have the KC Pro uh, power on this side, USB and Ethernet on this side. So that's looking good. Um, yeah, let me grab a couple of other things. So let's see, I added up uh, this fan here. I simply just uh, hooked up this fan there with a couple of uh, some sort of zip ties here because the holes that are in this case you Pro are perfect to align this uh, 140 mil fan. And then I just uh, took a couple of my crocodile clamps here and clamped it into the USB port and it's, it's cooling it perfect. Uh, reason that I did this is really simple because uh, when I touch it now it's fine I can totally touch it but uh, without this fan I mean it's not spinning that fast you can see like when I stop it it's not really spinning this fast but uh, you can literally see or feel the difference of having a fan on it or not and I totally prefer to have a fan on it um, it was not that hot to the touch, but it was definitely something that I wouldn't love to have in my office here, uh, running without a fan, so I just added this there, and then I need to figure out where I will place this one. Um, I will hopefully find a good place for this somewhere here in my office, but yeah, so far this one is up, um, and I want to show you how it looks on the PC and what you need to do over there. So let us hop over there to, to figure out what else we need to do to get this thing up and running. Okay guys, now we are on the PC. I'm sorry for my voice today, but I'm a little bit sick. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm currently in the bed, so bear with me, but should work here. So the first thing that you normally would do is to check out in your networking settings or what the IP address of your Ice River KS0 Pro is. I do have a uh, service-defined network here, a SDN network, so I did figure this out on my own. Otherwise, what you could do is you go to your router and check out for all the connected hosts or all the connected devices to your router. Then you should normally see what is going on there, what IP address this one got. Uh, the standard login credentials is admin as the name and one two three four five six seven eight for the password and I'm sorry guys but I already plugged it in and let it run for one day I did the unboxing yesterday but then I was feeling so bad that I needed to go to bed and yeah now it's the next day um, but nevertheless that's pretty good so we now do have an average amount of how much hash rate we can see and stuff like this. I do want to point out a couple of other things just in a second. But yeah, for, for now, what we can see is the five minute hash rate is looking pretty good. We have it at 211 giga hashes. The 30 minutes also looks pretty good. And the runtime is up and stable for over one day so far. Um, let's quickly go over to the minus mining settings because this is something that I noticed that yeah, it doesn't work if I haven't done so. Maybe this is specific to the pool. Uh, in this case, I'm using Hero Miners. And what I noticed is that I need to put in Stratum plus TCP double point slash slash in there. Otherwise, if I would do it like in pool 3 here, as you see, without the Stratum plus TCP, it wouldn't work. I don't know why this is the case. It is the case, so that's it. Um, 
One other thing is that at the end of my wallet slash worker, I needed to put in a point and then a worker name. So without any worker name, it was also not connecting to hero miners. Maybe this is something specific to hero miners. I don't know. I haven't tested this on other pools. I will completely 100% run this on hero miners. I will also leave the, uh, maybe the address in the, in the description down below. Because what I want to do is I want to do this on Twitter. So if you do not follow me on Twitter or X, how it's called nowadays, uh, make sure to do this show because I will make a poll in for the next two to three days. And you guys will decide if I will run this at a normal pool with hero miners or if I will solo mine with this for the next couple of days or as long as I make a ROI on it, so return on investment. Um, yeah, I will run this definitely, and I will also update you guys frequently on this device, how it's performing, stuff like this. Um, so that's it. That's what I wanted to notice, uh, or make sure that you guys understand what's going on here. Uh, I haven't changed anything else besides from this. So I added the Stratum Top Plus TCP in there, and uh, yeah, the port number at the end, 207. Uh, if we quickly go over to Hero Miners, uh, let me go over there. Uh, we do see the 206, but if we click on the start, uh, we do see that there are different ports for different models. So if you use a GPU or FPGA, you can choose the uh, 1206. Otherwise, for the case 0 and K0 Pro, you should choose the 1207. And if you have anything higher than this, you should definitely choose the 1208 or 1209, depending on what you want to use or if you even want to go with mice hash. Uh, but despite this, uh, it is running crazy good. In the last 24 hours, we made 34.9 Casper, so about uh, 4.53 USD. So that's pretty, pretty good. Um, I would really love to see this. And yeah, as you can see, it is running um, monthly. We can expect about 140. 32 USD from this so if it would stay the same this device would pay off itself in about four months uh, but obvi obviously I will show you how everything looks in the next coming uh, weeks and stuff like this so I will make a review a second review of this device again um, but for now the details that we do see here are fine let's move back to the user interface and let's check out what else we can see inside of this device so we do have the ip settings in here we can check uh how we want to use this so it does give itself a host names we can change the protocol to static or dhcp i keep it static uh usually what it does it, it pulls once a ip address and then it tries to keep this ip address forever so if you ever move this to another subnet um, like I do have a VLAN for all my crypto stuff, as you can see for the uh, 0.90 here. Uh, this one is specific for crypto. Nothing else is in this IP address range. So uh, if I ever try to use this device on another subnet or another VLAN in my network, it will not work. Um, then you probably need to change this to DHCP to work in another network. Uh, user settings. Uh, there we can change our password. I mean, currently it's just mining to my IP address and is in my own network, so I do not really need to do this. Um, but if you feel safer, if you want to do this, just change your password over here. And we also have the possibility of a firmware update. I am currently not aware of any update that we do have for the K0 Pro. Uh, we do see that we have a version a boot underscore two, whatever, down here. To me, everything currently looks fine. I am aware of a potential overclock of this device. I will obviously make a video about this, uh, but for today, I believe that's basically it when it comes to the K0 Pro and how you can connect it to hero miners and stuff like this. Um, another thing I need to talk about is the power consumption. And let's hop over to my phone and quickly check out how high the amount of powers that we pull out of the plug uh, or out of the wall. So let's quickly check out how high the power consumption of this one is. 
uh, we do see that we do have around 94.4 watts currently. Um, keep in mind that I do have a power source of 240 volts here in Germany, so therefore uh, there's a little difference to all the people in the US or somewhere else just running this. So thank you guys for watching and that's it with today's video and see you on the next one. Peace out.